Most married couples believe their union will continue till death do you part, yet only around half of all marriages do. What are the secrets that half of the couples are missing? And what is the secret that the other half seem to have figured out how to survive the marriage? You need to know how to act in this situation. We therefore advise you to keep watching the way to survive a marriage. Before we move on, don't forget to drop a like, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. By clicking the bell symbol, you may also enable post notification. Let's get started without further ado. Marriage isn't an ideal little honeymoon. As those of you who are married know, those of you who aren't married and you'll see how marriage will turn out. Marriage is an excellent foundation for a relationship, but that does not make it any simpler. It takes effort to keep a strong marriage with your partner. It takes work to keep a marriage alive and well. Individuals and couples may occasionally feel dissatisfied, unhappy and unfulfilled in their marriages or relationships, unclear of what is causing this. Love, commitment, trust, time, attention, good communication, including listening, partnership, tolerance, patience, openness, honesty, respect, sharing, consideration, generosity, willingness to compromise are just a few factors that contribute to a satisfying marriage. First, you should communicate. You may already know that communication is critical in a marriage. There should be no secrets or lies in your marriage. Thus, full communication means you're entirely comfortable telling your partners anything. It also needs frequently expressing your thoughts for one another and confronting any disagreements front on rather than being silently being aggressive. And also, if you ask a couple who has been happily married for a long time what their secret to success is, they will almost certainly say communication. If you think about the success or failure of your previous romantic relationships, it was all built on the foundation of communication. You may begin talking, then went on dates and then you shared your dreams. Communication spaces is constantly in need of reinforcement. Make sure you can speak openly with each other at all times and your marriage will be stranded. The second comes trust. To make your marriage succeed, you must have complete faith in your partner. Also avoid doing anything that would give the impression that you are untrustworthy. A hallmark of marital faithfulness is trusting your partner to share their physical self with you exclusively. It's not just about your physical relationship when it comes to being faithful. It also entails being honest and trustworthy about how and with whom you share your emotions, dreams, struggles and goals, as well as how you spend your time and money and how much debt you have. Your partner needs to feel safe, happy and supported in your relationship for the same reasons you must feel secure at ease and supported. Because marriage is about forging a lifelong bond, you and your partner share trust must help one another along the journey. Romance The longer you've been married, the more probable your marriage will lose some of its romantic factors. Just recalling the past good times, you can keep the romance alive. Remember the butterflies in your tummy on your first date or how much effort you put into making your spouse appear friendly. You could try creating a romantic atmosphere in your bedroom with candles, music and other elements that suit the occasion. Set the atmosphere for something unforgettable and everything else will fall into place. Keeping that romance alive in your marriage strengthens it. Show your love. Although saying I love you can help your relationship, there are occasions when your partner requires more than just verbal recognition. There are numerous simple ways to express your love and admiration for your partner. Making a palatable handmade dinner using your partner's favorite dish can also help. You might also bring flowers home for your wife's happiness. Although it may sound common, it's always a nice feeling. It demonstrates that you remembered her even though she wasn't present. It's important to remember that it's a thought that counts. Learn to forgive. Everyone makes mistakes from time to time. Your partner may damage your feelings or do something that irritates you, causing you to become infuriated, if not offended. However, it's critical to address your feelings, let them go and move on. Don't bring up the past all the time. Keep your commitment to your partner, family and the life you've established together in your mind in both emotional and practical aspects. Although you, your partner and your relationship will change over time, these suggestions can help your marriage stay effective. Allow room for change. Many relationships end because one partner is dissatisfied with the other's change from when they initially met. Change is inevitable. As people grow older and mature, your interests shift with time 
and you mature as a result of each new experience. It's not a negative thing to change. It's quite acceptable to do so. The longer you're in a relationship, the more you'll inevitably grow closer to the person you're with. You'll learn and grow as a group. Keep in mind that change is merely a sign of progress. Allow your partner to change since you will almost certainly change as a person as well. Yes, you can save an unpleasant marriage. Both partners in an unhappy marriage must be willing to say. You must both be willing to put in the effort required to mend your relationship. And make no mistake, it's difficult and emotional labor. After all, admitting your flaws and vulnerabilities can make you feel weak. It can be challenging to leave the old story behind and begin a new one. To modify the way you've always responded to one another, you'll have to put out some effort. It might also be challenging to acknowledge an issue your partner brings up if you disagree. This, however, is what it takes to change. However, don't wait for your husband to change before you begin. And don't imagine you'll be able to change your partner. You can't persuade your spouse to change or grow if they are content with their current situation. Alternatively, your partner may be completely unaware that your marriage is in jeopardy. They might be preoccupied with doing their own thing, oblivious to the repercussions, and unwilling to adapt. You are alone responsible for your own words, deeds, and attitude. Your concentration may shift as you and your partner spend more time together and notice less what you enjoy about each other and more of what frustrates you. The more you focus on their evil actions or how you perceive them negatively, the less likely you are to feel satisfied. You have control over your attention and can alter it at any time. Commitment More than merely a desire to stay together for a long time qualifies as commitment. It is the action of choosing a life partner with whom you will share all the life's ups and downs. Being married indicates that you are fully dedicated to making the relationship work, dispelling any concerns that this is just a trial run. When you say I do in a marriage, you're declaring that I'm in for the long haul. Total commitment, of course, entails never betraying your partner, but it also requires being entirely committed to making your relationship the best it can be, regardless of the circumstances. Making time for you two as a couple Couples must spend time together. Couples can find little time for each other due to their busy lives, numerous commitments, and children to take care for. Regularly spending time together, such as shopping, dining out, going to the movies, walking, swimming, participating in sports, exercising, sharing hobbies, having romantic dinner at home itself, and taking vacations can help couples become closer and have more time to communicate, allowing them to get to know each other better. It's easy to lose sight of the romantic component when you're busy with work and family obligations plan special occasions. Whether you want to go out, send your kids out on a play date while you relax, speak, and enjoy one other's company. Respect. Giving, even heartfelt giving, means nothing if we don't appreciate our partner. Respect is earned by a thorough grasp of our partner's thoughts, responses, beliefs, values, and attitudes. We may look forward to our partner's return home each night because of respect for who they are, making it unlikely that they will become bored in their presence. Our growing appreciation for our partner is typically the result of our increasing awareness of who they are as people and our respect for their attributes that make them who they are. This, in turn, may contribute to the happiness we derive from being in the company of our partner. When the marriage or one of the individuals suffers a difficulty, respect may deepen. When a marriage is in danger and one or both parties have lost respect for the other as a result of the mistakes, poor choices, watching the partner enduring every difficulties, making different choices and repair their portion of the damaged relation can lead to a development of new respect. Even when it appears that a marriage is over, this newfound respect may help them become closer and help them to maintain the relationship. Most of the temporary things we go after with our lives are less valuable than a successful and healthy marriage, and it will always be more durable than the others. That's all we have for you today, guys. Also, don't hesitate to thumbs up the video and subscribe for more entertaining content, and we'll see you again soon.